what's new at Universal Orlando I have a lot of updates for you plus some very cool information regarding the opening of the Velocicoaster stay tuned we had a cold front come through last night yesterday's high 83 degrees today's high only 63 still wearing my t-shirt and shorts though also it's very breezy so i do have a wind chill factor to deal with it is too windy to run rip ride rocket today so look at the crew they're out here playing cornhole with guests here at the plaza courtyard they are getting ready for mardi gras 2021 they've got the stage decorated they have a lighting system up above it there's a tent over here perhaps for food all the seating and i think they may put a mardi gras float or two in this area as well for the mardi gras celebrations we also know this year there will be a mardi gras scavenger hunt we just don't have the details on it yet but it is going to happen here we have one of the mardi gras food kiosks not covered by a tent see a little bit more of the theming and i think this is going to match the tribute store We'll know for sure when we get to the tribute store, but I think this is gonna be the theming. Here we have one of the Mardi Gras food tents next to one of the lighting towers they're using for Mardi Gras, which is next to one of the food trucks. And again, we see this theming. Looks like this is gonna be the look and the feel of Mardi Gras this year. And speaking of the tribute store, why don't we walk over there, see how the facade is looking. The Mardi Gras tribute store makes its grand return and it will feature three rooms. One will be dedicated to a 1920s jazz parlor, complete with dueling pianos. One room will be a nautical cemetery for those dearly departed sea captains. And the third room, a mysterious waterfront warehouse. And just to the left of the tribute store, we have another, I don't know if it's a food kiosk or a drink kiosk, but it looks pretty cool. It's funny, when I saw this walking up, I could only see this side of it. I thought it was a container for them to load up merchandise into the tribute store. Clever, so funny, so funny. I don't know how you guys are feeling about it, seeing it on camera, but seeing it in person, I'm getting so excited to see how Mardi Gras goes this year. In past years, Mardi Gras would be contained to this New York area, but it's gonna be more spread out this year, so we're gonna see food tents and food kiosks throughout the whole park. I'll show you as we make our lap around the park. And I should mention that the Mardi Gras floats they're going to be spread out throughout the whole park as well as there will not be a parade this year. Here's one of the food tents that has received its facade already. Since Fast and Furious has reopened, it's been one of the longest waits here and it continues to be so as right now, looks like a 40 minute wait and today is so, so quiet. The mummy was just 10 minutes. Looks like you'll be able to get a lot of food and drink here in San Francisco as there's like three tents here already two of them already have uh, the facades up i highly doubt there'll be any mardi gras stuff here in london but while we're here let's go inside of diagon alley and check on the wait time for gringotts today seems really really slow even by my standards when i'm here a lot on slow days today seems extra slow and the wait time for gringotts is just 15 minutes meaning it's basically a walk-on it'll take you that long to walk through the queue and get on the ride over here by the old Fear Factor Stadium, we have another Mardi Gras tower and food tent, food and drink tent. This one's pretty cool looking. It's got the, uh, the rusted out tin down here and some wood, maybe that ship lap, not sure, uh, but some cool lighting features on this one. So this is Jeffrey. The team members have named him. He's been here for a couple months, they said. And we think it's a herring or a white crane. I'm not sure, but if you know, let me know in the comments below. Tell me what it is, a herring or a white crane, but I do know his name and it's Jeffrey. You know what, since we're over here by the Fear Factor Stadium, which serves as a U-Rest Zone, a place where I can take off my face mask, this will be a good spot to give you that awesome Velocicoaster news. So I have two bits of information regarding the Velocicoaster. One's kind of hearsay, kind of scuttlebutt amongst the team members, and the other is fact. So here's the scuttlebutt. The team members, the sentiment is that they are thinking March for a soft opening. That's just kind of the feel they have being around the park all the time. Now, here's a fact. 
the workers who are going to work are the team members who are going to work at the VelociCoaster. Currently, they are working throughout the park, different locations. One may be at, uh, you know, Hagrid's. One may be in the kid zone here at Universal. The point is, Universal is now pulling those people away from their current work locations to their Velasa coaster workstations. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it all means, if they're just getting fitted for their uniforms or if some training is involved, but the fact is they are getting pulled to their new Velasa coaster work assignment. So what does that tell you? I don't think they're being pulled right now to wait until June for an opening. So maybe March, maybe April, I do feel like it will soft open early. If you guys follow me on IG at my Rick's Flicks, then you saw my post a few days ago. MIB Alien Attack has reached the 100 million rider mark. Congratulations, where's the cake? I would take a turn on it, but the last time I went, I got my second highest score ever. I think it was a, a 910K or maybe it was a, a 915. So I'm a, I'm a little nervous to go on it again. I don't wanna go backwards, so I'm gonna hold off for now. I just walked through Springfield. I did not see anything related to Mardi Gras in Springfield. No food tents, no drink tents, no um, lighting towers, nothing like that. So I think Springfield will be Mardi Gras free during the celebration. One more thing about the VelociCoaster, Universal's official position is that its opening is a few months away with an announcement coming soon. So that's their official position on the VelociCoaster. I thought I should share that as well. So I was just talking to the doc and he assures me that 2021 gets better as we move further into it. And that's good to know. Over here by the Kids Zone Pizza Company, we can see another one of these towers. It's not decorated yet, but I'm wondering if they're gonna have a specialty Mardi Gras food or drink in this area. Come back here to the Pizza Company and get some food and drink as well. Probably. Over here at the Cafe La Bamba restaurant, they have a few uh, still arches in place. Now this is where they had the skeleton bar during Halloween, so I bet you they're gonna have a Mardi Gras bar here as well. I'd put money on that. Maybe food and drink. I tried to peek inside these windows. The curtains are closed too tight. The word I am getting on the Mardi Gras crepe, it's gonna be a sweet one, red wine and poached pear creme brulee. That's the first word I'm getting on this. I was told they wanted to go sweet and to provide something dissimilar from what you can get throughout the rest of the park for Mardi Gras. I told you it was cold today. Look at Scooby and the gang wearing their cold weather outfits today. Not quite at the end yet, guys. You're almost there though. I wanna remind you, click that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you'll know when another video is ready for you to view. Let's pop into the Universal store just for a hot second. I'm trying to show you guys a little more merchandise this year than maybe in past years. And since it's a colder, windier day, they've brought the hoodies out to the front. This one right here we're looking at is $55. This gray one, also $55. This one's not a hoodie, but it looks pretty cool. And they have either raised or lowered the price as there's a sticker over the old price. I don't know if it went up or down. Here's another hoodie. This one is $60. A little different. Got a, you know, a solid color on the front and your arms in the hood actually has a little design on it, graphic design. Here is a retro style sweatshirt, $52. I think this has gone down in price. Both of these hoodies, $57. I think these are just for ladies. I'm not sure, but I think this is just ladies, $57. Yeah, it's cold today, but still not cold enough to tempt this Florida boy to buy a hoodie. And here's an interesting tidbit I have received from our UK viewers. They are telling me Universal is now running adverts in the UK. So Universal is advertising in the United Kingdom for people to come visit. I find that very interesting, and I find that to be good news. Because if they're advertising, it can't be too long before we actually get British visitors again. Well guys, I'm not done, but our time together is done. As I'm about to end this video and go ride the mummy and maybe a couple other things. Maybe, maybe I'll see Bourne today too. But as always, I want to tell you guys, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks, and now, it's
time to go ride some rides. Hello and welcome to the team, some new Flicksters. We have Matthew Brown as a vice president. We have Justin G as an executive producer. And then as supporters, Alex and Jennifer Cullen and DJ and Cassidy. Thank you guys so much for joining the team. And also today, a special thank you to Gabriella the Hufflepuff and her proud parents. If you would like to join the team and become a Flickster, just join patreon.com slash ricksflicks.